We made it. I should hope you aren't too tired. I know it isn't much, but I think we found a place to really recover for once. <sighs> Sorry. I'm out of breath. I haven't been in, I haven't been out of this armor in a long time. How are you feeling? Good. Good. I'm really glad you're okay. I'm glad you aren't too tired either. I'm quite tired, yes. <laughs> Just a moment to sit down would be nice. That walk out of the forest was long, very long. But I'm glad we made it in the end. I'm still not quite used to everything that's going on, so I, I think I might need you to give me some patience first, but... Yes, I'm... I'm, I'm. I'm all right. But truthfully, uh, I'm still not used to hearing you call me that. Perhaps just for now, so it doesn't keep catching me off guard, you could... Well, I do like it, but... It's... it's... It, it, it almost makes me jump, you know? I'm glad we had a chance to discuss everything. No, oh, no, no. I, I thought I'd lost you too. But we made it through in the end, didn't we? I'm very tired. I'd imagine you're very tired as well. What was it in the end? Six days, seven nights, walking, walking, and walking. The forest, it just didn't seem to end. Even with the Guardian trying to give us directions, it just felt like it never ended. as well. It's alright. We had that, um, we had a nice meal while we were traveling yesterday, so I, I think I'll be alright. <laughs> and you seem very tired as well. No, I, I think the pair of us should rest first. Soup. <laughs> Soup would be good, yes. I'm not sure what ingredients we have in this cottage. I mean, we might have to go out and get some. I can feel this... this armor weighing so heavily on me. I, uh, sure.
strange. Even after we've been trudging through fields of mud and grass for almost a week, you still smell like royalty. It's it's strange. <laughs> It's like impurity just washes off you. I understand we've had a lot of time together, but... To me, it still doesn't feel quite real. I think I might just need you to be patient with me and take the time to just let me acclimate to how how nice things are all of a sudden. Of course. But if you want, of course, you can do whatever you like. I I'm in I'm in I'm in no position to to argue with you. makes me happy, because now I have this chance, after I failed you the first time, I have a chance to make things right, that's all I, all I plan on, so if you need something from me, just ask and it's yours, I'll do anything. try to make things right. Really? I... I haven't... I haven't held anyone's hand before. At least not since I... I last saw my family. so cold. <laughs> They're small too. Maybe that's just me, I'm not I'm not sure. I could feel your pulse. It's beating so fast. Your heart is beating so fast. Is something wrong? Please, I'm sorry if I've if, if, if perhaps I said something on our journey that wasn't right, you... Oh. <sighs> Sorry. It's... <laughs> it's difficult to remove myself from the past. very difficult. It's like... <sighs> I spent my whole life as this... as a servant to you. And better yet, I was very happy. Very happy to just be your sword and nothing else. 
happier than I'd ever been. Perhaps it... Sorry, I can't believe I get to hold your hand after all this time. <laughs> when... I spoke to you... before the battle... that was one of the first times I'd ever... been... privately in your presence. One of the first times I had the chance to actually hold your hand and, well, I was thinking about it, but it's a very creaky house, isn't it? I imagine we'll get used to it after a while. But when I, um... It felt like that was my first time really meeting you, and... It took me such a long time to... calm myself down... when I was walking along the halls, and I was getting ready to meet you. My heart was beating much faster than yours is now. And I can't believe I managed to calm myself down. I really can't. And I did, in the end. And I'm glad you felt that you could trust me. No? Squeeze my hand. You, you can probably tell that I'm, 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 my heart is beating faster than yours. Last time I... Listen. The first time I truly had you to myself was a formality. The next time I was dying. The third we were covered in blood and sweat and I was... just recently brought back from the dead. And then since then, we've been either traveling or sleeping. This is really the first time I've truly and honestly had a mind occupied only and exclusively by what on earth I should say. I don't know. <laughs> when I was growing up, and I used to watch you from a distance, I, I would always imagine what it might be like to get to meet you like this. And I had so many different ideas about what I might say, how I might tell you what I felt. So many different ideas about what I could say to make you happy. Perhaps I could, how I could express what I felt. And I remember having them because I would, <laughs> I used to get scolded by my, um, by my mentor a lot. During swordplay training and equestrians and all the other learning I had to do to become a knight. I'd keep losing myself whenever I saw you, and it would take a, <laughs> you know, a, 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 him clocking me around the head to get me to focus again. 
But now, everything I thought about is just washing away. Look at your face and my, my head <laughs> becomes completely blank. Let's, um... Oh, I did. I did once or twice notice you looking at me, but I would always avert my eyes. I never felt like I had the right to keep looking. I miss everyone very much, but right now I think the only thing in the forefront of my mind is you. Perhaps in the days to come, the memories will come washing back, too fast for me to reckon with. But until they do, I don't think I'm prepared to think about anything other than you. You don't have to lie, my lord. You don't have to make me feel better. I know you only really noticed me after I had introduced myself to you, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't make this any less special. I... I apologize if this seems selfish. I'm very tired. I... I'm very tired, but I don't want to be without you. Can... saying anything. Neither will I. Thank you. You must be trying to make me feel better. This, 
There's no way my hair feels as, as nice as yours does. I could never be the one to ask you. Whatever you want to do, I'm sure will I'm sure will bring peace to me. Maybe one day I'll get used to hearing you call me that. Maybe one day. Yes, I... My mind is heavy with worry. I can't stop... seeing... what happened. The hour seeming to appear just out of the sky. Feeling the warmth of the fire. Taking my last breath with my hand on your lap. And then Hanging, suspended somewhere, just floating. It felt like I was suspended by a hook. Like the back of my neck was tied up and I was hanging from some great ceiling. No. No, no, it was very cold. It was so cold. I don't know. You seem to think it was three days. 
days it felt so much longer. There was no day or night. It was just blackness. When I looked down I could see my hands, my body. The wounds in me were still there, but I could feel the pain of having tried to seal it. It just sort of stayed. Never got better or worse. And I just floated there in the cold. And then, there was this warmth, like a terrible heat that just rose up. It was like from my point suspended in the air, I could feel fire underneath me. And I looked down and from the blackness there was this great red light. Remembering there was a white light above me. The blackness felt consuming for so many, so... I, I, <laughs> I hesitate to say so many days. I don't know how long it was. It could have been years. There was a white light above me that kept growing and growing over time. And it felt like eventually I was getting closer to it. It was just that little bit warmer than the blackness beneath me, but when, when the red light appeared, It shot up from under me and it was like a big, long hand flew from it, seized me by the leg and yanked me back down. And suddenly my eyes were open again. The cold turned to a blistering heat and I saw you stood over me. Your body in tatters, scarred and sweaty. But even then, with all that pain, it's still feels like I haven't... It feels as though I haven't done enough. No. No, no, it wasn't selfishness. And please, <laughs> if I had made it to heaven, if you had left me long enough that that white light above me had consumed me, I simply would have stayed there waiting for you. They call the great beyond the land of eternal paradise, but truly it would not have been paradise for me. No matter how many other beautiful lords and, and ladies were up there waiting for me, none of them were you so I would have sat and waited. But think of the agony of my own happiness. Think of the agony that I wouldn't be happy until I had waited for you to die.
think of what you did as being selfish. You put yourself through hell for me. I would accept any burden you would place upon me, and if, after all this time, after all these, these days spent waiting and my time floating in that space, uh, all I've been able to think about is how I could make things right. Your kingdom fell because of me. Your greatest soldiers died <laughs> because of me. If my journey to the afterlife had to be interrupted in order to make things right for you, then I would return to this earth a thousand times. Or a thousand and one, a thousand and two. However many it might be. My duty before was to protect you. And I failed. If my duty now is to be your lover, then I won't fail you again. of a cruel and indifferent universe. And maybe one day you and I will get to sit atop a kingdom again. And perhaps then I can serve you and make it right that time. I'll have a chance to defend your kingdom and win. The weight of everything is just sealing my lips shut. They keep coming these moments where I can see it all in reverse. Forwards, backwards, sped up, slowed down. Focusing on a different point each time. And then my mind goes blank. It's like I'm dead all over again. I'm sorry, I shouldn't... I shouldn't think to... keep asking for your help. 
evening sun is so warm. Whatever that white light would have pulled me into, I don't think it would have been as wonderful as what I have here. It's very cold. You look flushed. Is everything all right? Is starting to, my lord, say something. What's wrong, my lord? you're awake. <sighs> you fainted, I think. It had been weeks, I imagine, since you're since you had rested properly, so I imagine after Having my clumsy body leaning on you, you might have just given out. Your body needed rest. But it's all right. I made you some soup. We were talking about soup, so I, I decided to go out and forage, and I I found some, some wild vegetables. Found a few pots and pans, gave them a scrub, and and made you some vegetable soup, so it's 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 by it's by the bedside if you need it. You really scared me. Thankfully, I you still had a pulse, so I wasn't too worried. But still, it. It scared me. It scared me a great deal to see how you looked. To be that vulnerable and I, I'm sorry. I, it didn't feel right for me to put my hands on your body and to try and move you to bed, but I convinced myself it was the right thing to do. Have 
I rested, yes. I, I found a little cup and I filled it up from the well outside. You should drink water too. Have some. That's better. All right. All right. I'll come and lie with you. Yes, this is just what was underneath my armor. Is that what you need from me? Of course. Come, come here. Anything to make you feel better. Anything at all. Anything at all. Of course, my lord. Of course. Any song in particular from home that you might miss? Something you might want to hear from me? My love, of course, yes. I'm still not used to it. Mm-hmm. 
You always make me blush. Sorry, I tend to... I tend to crack my fingers when I get nervous. I don't think I've ever been quite so vulnerable with another person. The fact that it gets to be you... I still don't feel I, I deserve it. Maybe one day I'll believe that this is all real. It may take me some time. thinks I did die on the battlefield. Crawling back and confessing to you in a pool of blood. And sometimes I worry that was just my soul's way of letting go. And really I've been suspended in that cold place this whole time. Now I'm slowly reaching that light, which is why this place feels so warm. I know. I know it's real, but I still struggle to believe that I deserve it. done so much for me, is, then, is there no way that I can comfort you, too? Is there no way that I can begin to make things right? Oh, oh, my love, of course, of course, just don't make yourself move. Don't try to overexcite yourself, just lie with me, it's okay. I don't deserve you. But more? No. Even if I did. Even if I had returned from that battle a hero. You were all I ever would have wanted for.
no matter all of the people who would have offered their hands to me. If there had been any, I wouldn't have been able to say yes because my heart still would have been for you. So no, I don't deserve you. But from this day forth, I will try to be deserving of you. accept that now. I accept it now and I will always have to. <laughs> Can I really hold your hand again? <laughs> it's so warm. Every word you say is like a... It's like an arrow through me. To hear you greet me in simple terms is enough to put me on the floor, but... To hear you tell me that I deserve you and to say that you love me, I... I am... just a humble knight. And it will take me time to realize that my lord loves me the way they do. I'm sorry if that's disappointing. Hearing myself say the word still doesn't feel like something I deserve.
the moment I think just this is enough. My lord? trying to kiss my neck. Uh, please, hey, please, please, not, not, not yet. Please. Please, not yet. I, uh, I, I don't want to faint. Shh, come here. No, no, I know. No, I know. I know this is what you want. I know this is what you want, but I'm not ready. Just let me hold you, please. I'm not ready for that kind of expectation. each other to ourselves for a long time and now I understand but right now the thought of just getting to kiss you sends shivers through me and well, I'm surprised the first one to faint between the two of us was you maybe one day maybe one day not today All I can manage right now is just to have you by my side. Any more than that and I'll start to think I really am dead. Thank you. Just getting to hold you is enough. No, no, it's okay. Please don't. Already, I... What you can start to notice is that it's your forgiveness and it's your patience with me that made me feel like I could say that to you. I think if the... if the budding young knight in me those few weeks ago when all of this, before all of this had happened. Perhaps I wouldn't have been able to say that, but... But now I can. You gave me that space. And you made me feel like the way I felt was important as well. And when you raised to think that your destiny is to ride into battle on horseback and lose your head, get run through, or be trampled, eventually your limits start to matter less. And so you can 
start to imagine why my You can start to imagine why my head is struggling to get around all of this. The Lord who I would have served to that end is encouraging me to allow my God to be Lord. Instead of holding a shield over my face, I can let it down and see the face of someone I love rather than a rain of arrows on the other side. You can understand that, can't you? I'm sorry. Thank you for, for understanding. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure what you're talking about. Huh. No. I... Getting to speak to a doctor about your feelings, that sounds like something. Perhaps only the royals were used to. I haven't heard of such a thing. <laughs> I think I'll be okay if I just get to talk to you. sun might be starting to set. Let me just lie here. May I? Let me look after you. You're sick, remember? Let me hold you close to my chest. And hopefully you can just forget all about it and move on to tomorrow. We'll rise early. Feel the warmth of the sunrise. Maybe we can go and forage for vegetables together. Perhaps I can teach you how to hunt. And then maybe you and me will have the chance to just rest for a while. I pray that our enemies don't find us. At least for now, I'll be safe here. Come in.
nothing good. It's all The cold from outside, it's like it started leaking in and reminded me what it felt like.
Really? Really? You let me lie on your chest. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> I'm so scared. I don't think I've ever felt so safe. <sighs> Some night I turned out to be. <laughs> Crying onto the chest of someone I'm supposed to protect. Well, because I had a nightmare. Oh my god, I had a nightmare. <laughs> Save me. Everything you built is it's gone. <laughs> it's gone because of me. <laughs> it's all gone because of me. You'd have to save me. You carried my heavy body with all my armor on it all the way down the mountain for me. You saved me. I couldn't even get up and walk on my own.
I was raised from essentially from birth. To serve you and protect you. Keep you safe. But all I've ever done is get you into more trouble. It's impossible, you can't. <laughs> what happened with the dragon? Why would you say that's your fault? You were only there to save me. I can't imagine how much pain you must have felt knowing you had to let him do all of that to you. All just for me. All of it for me. put on such a show, didn't I? When I was dying, I, I should have just done it quietly and let your conscience stay intact. I found I, <laughs> I've only managed to make things worse for you. <laughs> You say you brought me back for yourself as well, out of selfishness, but why? Why me? Which part of me is the part that you felt was worth bringing back? What did I do to deserve your attention? Why? <laughs> I still don't understand why you love me. Since when? Why? No one's loved me like that before. Why does the one person on earth I would give my everything to Love me back so fully, even though I've given you nothing but pain. I've failed you at every turn. Why? Why? I'm sorry, I shouldn't be arguing. Shall I tell you something? I... When... When 
I was growing up. <laughs> Sorry. When I was growing up, I used to train very, very hard. My mentor would push me very hard and expected a lot from me. And I wasn't very strong when I was a boy. I wasn't very strong at all. I tried to get better, but it took a lot, you know. What my what my mentor would do when I failed he would list off all of these things that I did wrong. Your sword arm is weak. You held the shield in the wrong place. If that was a real blow, you would have lost an arm. Your movements are slow, they're predictable. You wouldn't be able to hold a sword off with your own. That isn't how you parry a blow. If you tried to block it, you would lose your head. I felt like I had this library of words in my head, and all of them were about how terrible I was at everything. But it wasn't as though I was bad. When I did well, we would have a mock tournament with wooden swords, and I won a couple of times. It's part of how I became captain, and every time he would acknowledge it, but he never said Well done. He just gave me a nod, pat me on the shoulder, and that was, that was that. No lesson to be learned, just do more of the same. And I know he cared. I know he cared. I think that I've grown up and developed this sort of reliance on words to know how to feel. You must understand, my lord, I, I... I'm the one who doesn't understand why any of this is happening. Why you didn't scold me when I came back after my failure. Why you chose to save me. Why you let me kiss you? Why we're here together right now? Please, if it might take me some time. What could you say in your own words? Why you love me? Because otherwise I don't know if I'll be able to believe you. So you had noticed me before. <laughs> you had.
those years I spent admiring you, you had really been admiring me too. Yes. When I became captain, all of the knights that I had under my command had been my friends. The ones that I had grown up alongside. The ones who had been older than me and taught me everything I know, and the ones younger who I had had to mentor and teach. You know, maybe if, <laughs> maybe if the decision to make me captain came down to nepotism, perhaps that's why I kept failing. <laughs> you didn't do that, did you? Approve me as captain because you thought I was cute? <laughs> I suppose it would kind of make sense, but... Okay, no, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. Yeah. Thank you. Words are like honey to me. Everything you say, it just... It sounds so sweet and, and perfect and... Chest, I want to listen to your heartbeat. <laughs> F 
finally I feel like I'm safe. <laughs> finally I feel like I'm safe. Like if a rain of arrows was to fly towards our cottage now, it would they would all just bounce off. Bounce off and they wouldn't be able to harm us anymore. <laughs> My heart beats so fast when you kiss me on the forehead and run your fingers through my hair. Oh, oh I'm so happy. I suppose there's guilt within us both, isn't there? I blame myself for all of your hardships. But... I suppose you blame yourself after my death, I think. You felt betrothed to me, and so... When the dragon used you like it did... Perhaps you felt that you were being unfaithful. side. I know you did it for me. I know you did it to keep me safe. How could I ever... How could I ever hate you for that? Of course it hurts to know that it happened, but it's not about me. It's not about me feeling betrayed. It's not about watching someone I love be tortured on my account. It's, it's about the fact that you had to go through it all. I can't imagine what you felt. Imagine giving my body to some creature, even if it was for the good of someone I cared about. I had done my
my back on that person that I cared about before, during and after the act I think I would feel as though I were thrusting a sword through my stomach every act, every little part of it would feel like I was yanking it out and putting it back in again Stabbing myself over and over and over and over again. So no, I don't, I don't blame you. You did everything for me. All just to save me, and when you went to that mountain, I don't think there was any way you would have known. The guilt you feel must be incredible. Enough to take a life. When I asked for you to verbalize why you loved me, you did so. And so will I. My lord, sorry, my love. No misdeed, no crime committed, no mistake made could change the way that I felt this afternoon. At the end of a lifetime of hardship, growing up alone, scolded and bruised, killed on the battlefield and dying, just close enough to someone I loved that I knew they liked me too, but not long enough to spend a life with them. Brought back through fire and pain. At the end of everything, at the end of all of those many, many years, regardless of what led us here, As the sun was setting this afternoon, I held your body in my arms. You looked up at me with these soft eyes and I could tell. I didn't want to admit it, but I could tell. You did love me. I could feel the warmth of the sun on my face. I could hear the whistle of birds, the creaking of the wind. And then, in a moment of weakness, just now, I cried, and I cried, and I cried, and I cried harder than I have in years. And you held me close to your chest and told me you loved me all over again. So yes, of course I forgive you. And I would do so again. And again, and again, and again, and again, and again. No matter how many hardships we face, no matter how many years we spend by each other's side, I'll always find it in me to forgive you for any trespass. Because you're all I've got. And better than that, you're all I've ever wanted.
warm. <laughs> Let's try and get some more sleep, okay? <laughs> Good. Oh, don't tell me you're crying too. worry about sleeping. You can just hold each other. And if we sleep, we sleep. And if we don't, well, I'll still have you safe. And you'll have me safe. Mm-hmm. for too long. Mm-hmm. 